Hey guys, so I was just reading this article about the slave rebellions in New York in 1712, about 119 years ago, and I wanted to make a video about what really happened that night and the reasons. Back in 1712, the slave trade was huge, it wasn't, you know, outlawed like it is now. So there were still a ton of slaves in New York, and they all worked together, and they were just completely surrounded by uh, white men and free black men and indentured servants like myself who were treated much better than they were, and they all could meet with each other and form plans. They would meet in taverns and bars and things like that. So what happened was, on April 6th, 1712, a group of 23 black men gathered in a tavern. They were armed with guns and hatchets and torches, and they went into the middle of town, and they set fire to a big central building. And so the plan was, they would get a bunch of white colonists to come and try to extinguish the blaze, and while that was happening, they would surprise attack the white colonists, and they killed nine of them and wounded six of them. Keep in mind that there were only 23 of them. They weren't organized enough to have an actual rebellion on their hands. So, New York and Westchester gathered up their militia units and some soldiers from a nearby base, and they went after the slaves. They actually caught 27 of them, but in captivity, six of them committed suicide. It was a night just filled with hatred, and it's just crazy to me that 119 years later, it's still the same. There's still these slaves who are beaten and tortured and whipped, and they're still trying to form rebellions, and we can't get it together enough to make anything happen. Because since then, so many rebellions have happened. There's been Vesey and Prosser, and there's this guy named Matt Turner who's starting to pop up in places, and I just, I can't believe how little progress we've made. For an indentured white like me, I work side by side with these slaves. I see the cruelty that they go through every single day, and I cannot stand the amount of injustice that we have in our system after so many years of rebellions of these people demanding freedom or equality or anything like that. I study the Bible, and I know that a house divided against itself cannot stand. How are we going to change things? How are we going to make things better, make things right? If you feel the way I do, leave your thoughts in the comments below, or message me. We'll see if we can figure something out. Don't forget to hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe!